Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we'll be discussing about a tool named Detect D. So which is an OSINT tool and this is an active re, uh, active recon sort of stuff or whatever you can call. And uh, I'll be leaving a link for the tool in the description below so you can go there and check that out. And before starting, if you if you are not following me on my Twitter and LinkedIn, uh, do check them out. So I post some uh, awesome content there so where you can find out uh, some cyber secret resources and stuff there. So coming to this tool, this tool is based on Go language. Uh, you can see here itself. So go dot go sort of stuff. And uh, the reason why I'm covering this tool is like we covered so many tools which does the same purpose, but it has a very good screenshotting, uh, you know, uh, very good support for the output. So that's the reason I'm trying to cover. And the main uh, selling point of this tool here is like you can hunt down the social media accounts by username, email, as well as the phone number. So I tried that and it's working. Uh, phone number it's sometimes it's not working but email and username are working absolutely fine okay so coming to the download you can download directly here so uh, you will get some you know a sort of stuff for windows as well there's support for windows as well but uh, i'd like to go and run with go so just follow the commands here okay so run up to go mod tidy okay and then uh, go to the directory and you can simply do let me do uh, go main dot uh, go run okay and main dot go and then you can do hyphen hyphen help so that's a basic thing so just run these three commands above okay so or else if you want to try out the releases you can try them out so they have like a lot of support for windows as well as the linux so you can go and check them out so here one of the important modules that we'll be discussing there are some other modules as well you can go and check them out so detect module so let's see uh, how it works so let's type detect hyphen hyphen help okay so you have few options here like you can pass an email here so hyphen e uh, test at the rate gmail.com for example so you can go and try that out okay so make keep that in mind sometimes your uh, you know it gets timed out so uh, you can try to use some proxy chains or sort of stuff like I recently ran this tool for some time so it is not showing me some outputs but uh, I would recommend you to try out with the uh, proxy chains as well so there is an option for that so go and try uh, try out from that as well okay so since this is you know using browser and sort of stuff you know browsers detect these automated stuff and they'll uh, try to put them on hold so keep that in mind and one important option that is very uh, that's the main thing is like uh, this thing uh, uh, name option is yes, for example let's go with admin uh, just a name you can see there are so many users with the name admin so like i just tried some basic uh, thing here so uh, you can just go and try and check them out okay so these are working fine like uh, i tried on my account and i could see that it is discovered it discovered like almost all the accounts like uh, I, I didn't uh, found anything left okay and these are also very accurate okay like accurate in the sense like uh, like uh, they are not uh, showing me some sort of an error based sort of stuff so they are having some good accuracy as well and also it is getting saved here so you can see in the results.txt so you can do cat uh, results.txt okay so you can see all the you all the stuff over here so you can parse this to some sort of file it's like some sort of csv like you can just export it to a csv and it would be fine okay now let's check one more option uh, which is phone number so you can just try some phone number okay even this will get timed out sometimes so all the stuff that we'll be doing gets timed out so uh, i would recommend you to use proxy chains okay so but for the particular uh, identifying the accounts using the username uh, you know like you do i don't it doesn't get timed out but for email as well as for the phone number it is getting timed out so keep that in mind okay so and let's see let's explore some more options as well I can, I can help right so uh, you can provide the output format if you want you can save that to the output uh, phone number is there retry is there uh, retry times after some request fail sort of stuff uh, uh, just reach the sites and like if you want to check for only specific sites right I, if there is that option as well so uh, hyphen s hyphen hyphen help let's see what are all I have uh there is no site data okay so let's go to the github so there are few sites over here i'll show you that mm, you can also uh, uh integrate with the chat gpt as well i didn't try that out yeah you can see sites as well here so github for example let's try with uh, you know github 
like if you don't want to waste time on going through all the stuff so i'll try with my account only okay let's see whether it detects or not yeah it's detected so it's a one good option so you can only uh, look for the few uh you know uh, sites as well so that's a good thing and coming to that uh you can go through the phone numbers and you can also parse you know multiple inputs as well so with the by separating with comma so you can check that out i didn't try that but uh, it would work fine and also this chat gpt by tagging the results so uh i didn't work honestly I didn't work on this thing but i don't feel there is a need for the chat gpt here but if you are interested you can go and try that out and coming to there is one more option screenshot option so screenshot option is very uh, useful uh, let me even hyphen help so it screenshots all the stuff so uh, you can provide the directory and you can provide the file string okay and it works fine okay so yeah this is one option and uh, let's see other options as well so you have like complete generate an auto auto completion script as well if for your specific shell like it integrates with some sort of shell sort of stuff uh you can generate a markdown you know markdown is so, sort of a file you know sort of stuff you can do that as well screenshot and also update data like uh, if you want to update like this tool is going to have a lot of updates coming so this uh, data data dot json is some sort of you know instruction that it gives so if you want you can update that as well so i only tested out for few functionalities but uh, you can try this out and let me know how this uh, tool works and i really thank you for watching this video till the end uh, this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you